welcome to my second video on Kona and I'm just taking a bit of a walk across a bridge to the doctors uh, I decided not to take the car because there was a tree blocking my way so this kind of continuation from where I left off I was at a general store messing about I haven't got a clue what to do in this game yeah not the best way to start a video is it I haven't got a clue what I'm doing but I've seen plenty of uh, gameplays on this game where they get lost and they don't know what they're doing either and some of them can't even read the map properly and see what they're doing and they miss vital clues and I've missed tons of clues that have helped me make sense of this game but I don't care I'm just wandering around you know just enjoying it and just finding bits and bobs and getting little ideas of the, of the actual story I'll probably end up doing the entire map in fact I think I've, I've done most of the map that's been open there's a lot of it here that's kind of blocked off you know I'll be on Leashed when the game's properly released because this is just the beta. So the full game will have a lot more to it. Hopefully, I'll get to use my rifle more often because I feel like shooting a lot of wolves, you know, and maybe a, a bear or two. But, <laughs> but I haven't come across any of that, so it's gonna take a little time to get used to this game, I think. Uh, but I'm enjoying it so far. I love its setting, the uh, weather effects are lovely, you know, nice little touches in the game. The, you know, the voiceover isn't annoying as I thought you'd be. He's actually alright, you know. That doesn't really bother me. As soon as you go in the room you get a little intro into the story and backstory and there should be know. a law forbidding doctors. It's really, from really kind of a weird game. I've been getting a lot of uh, lag to this game. It was so cold. Already Carl but did not feel his toes. Avoid it. I tried recording it twice and it didn't work. And with the microphone issues, it's a bit weird. I still can't get the settings right on this. I don't know why. But we're going to work on it. We're going to get through this game and try and get some decent gameplay here. And uh, yeah, just sit back and relax and uh, enjoy my fumble in the snow. Let's see, I can't even go down there. That's off. I can't go down there. I can't go anywhere I want to go. I really want it to be open world, but it's kind of shut off for now. That's so insane. Anyway, I do like the setting of this game. It's really cool. I don't know why I've got a map. It's just make me get more lost. All I'm going to do is just go through each um, area bit by bit. Let's go for crap first. <laughs> oh, a lantern. That'd be nice. I'll have that. Although I've got a torch. I'll probably drop the torch to keep the lantern. Because it looks cooler. See the breath? Pretty cool. Neat touches in this game. I do like it. It's a well polished game. I do like it. I really, really, really like it. <laughs> nah, it's dead tough to get this game. I can't wait for a full release. It must be... Oh, it must be epic. It's got to be uh, one of the more fun games I've played. I've been playing for about four hours now. and it's, I'm just wandering around, really, just exploring all the houses. I'm doing it all wrong. That's why all the clues and everything I've collected are all out of sequence. Door key. To the doctor's office, sweet, let's go in. So, yeah, you see, I've read notes before and my feet make in marks spite in of the Dr. snow, which is cool. Will, the place like didn't look much like, like a didn't have to do that. office, but it's there. It could easily like be mistaken for a sewing shop. Gives you a sense of immersion. I see this being a VR title, I really do. I'll be too surprised if it is. Voiceover is really good in this game. The, uh, Reliance on Canadian French is a little strange, but I can't slag that off. It's nice to have a, a different setting. I thought it might be um, one of these games that would just drag on and be boring, but it's been a lot of fun to play. So, yeah, I, I had a lot of faith in this game when it was being released, and luckily, I had a chance to play with it. I'm still getting used to the control system here. It's just a wheel tree that we're all used to. Stuff you pick up and equip, and you can just throw stuff down and get rid of it. It's pretty cool. Smoking a cigarette calms you down and eases your stress. Same with uh, a beer. <laughs> it's really cool. You can pick up first aid kits and things. Of 
graphics are wonderful. Really, I still I don't know really why it's like the radio. All the music's terrible. Is it? Is it all that sort of music in Canada? It can't be. I know this is set in the seventies, but still, ooh, that, that seventies music, eh? <laughs> Only a great I'm misfortune could have been a man like Dr. Bombay to isolate himself from the world. So I'll probably have to restart this game. Probably, yeah, I definitely will. I'll do a proper walkthrough. This should be fun. Because I'm making the right hash of it now. <laughs> Let's have a look behind the curtain. The good doctor, flanked by his beautiful spouse. Pure happiness. Captured on cards. I'll do that with voiceover. Voiceover guy is cool in my book. Right, I'm going to play a bit of the game because I don't want to talk away through the gameplay because I do like the atmosphere. The sound design in this game is lovely. Very atmospheric, yeah. Atmos yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. Anyway, I'm going to shut up for a minute because I'm just going to rabble on about crap. Julia, the doctor's spouse, was equally pretty and faithful. A deep kindness radiated from her eyes. Again, information I don't want to read. It's just too much info in this game. That's the downside with it. But because I'm just breezing through it and having a bit of fun, I'm not really paying attention to the information given to me. Hmm. Okay. To hell with patient confidentiality. Carl wouldn't be able to track down his client without unveiling secrets. Now he knew where to find Hamilton. Doctors used light reflecting frontal mirrors to look inside the patient's cavities. That was a bit unsettling, but back then it was pretty much always the case with medicine. A chamber pot. Fortunately for Carl, inspecting it wouldn't further this particular investigation. Injured could be recognized by the large stains of red, an informal nickname given to Merbroman, smudged all over their injuries. For the one-eyed, or for other vision problems, the eye patch was the way to go. Carl got the trembles as he imagined the excruciating pain that kind of scalpel could no doubt inflict. Within these miserable walls, patients probably felt more like in a slaughterhouse than in a doctor's office.
welcome back. Here I am. Just checking out the uh, book contents. There's a lot of beta notes here. There's a lot of, a lot of content missing. Which pleases me because that means I can play the game all over again. Yeah, as you can see, more beta notes. A lot of information I've collected. That's me, Carl Faber. I can't pronounce it. Is this a French name? That's all you need to know. Okay, so my footprints are still there. <laughs> yeah. Do like that. Let's lift this up. Hey. Wow. It was so cold, already Carl did not feel his toes anymore. He was a typical shack, just like the ones you hear about in Quebecois legends. Local lumberjacks used it to rest and twice a day eat up their pea soup. sound design this game. Who quits a game one step away from victory? Who quits a game one step from victory? Oh, this is frustrating because I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Water. The leftover food, the clothes, the general warmth of the place, no evidence of escape. Carl was sure of it. People were here not long ago and they expected to come back. You ever seen the film The Thing? I love that film. Kind of sound in that film has just made it for me. Really spooky. Turn out all the lights on cold winters at night and watch The Thing. Great movie. One of my favourites. Probably in my top ten, easily. Obviously, Empire Strikes Back is my favourite film of all time, but uh, that's another story. You can tell I've got no idea what I'm doing. I'm just randomly just pissing about. And I do apologise. <laughs> There's better walkthroughs on this game than mine. There we go. I see people get lost in this game. Quite humorous. <laughs> He's got a rifle early in the game. That's cool. Nice to have a weapon. <laughs> I haven't killed anything yet. I shot at a wolf twice. Of course I missed. I point blank range and just scared him off. Well, this game's coming to an end. I'm going to follow these footprints, these mysterious wolf prints, which are all everywhere. Yep, I understand the map. And I will be back with the second part of the video, where we see where these footprints lead. Exciting stuff. Thanks for watching, everyone.